It's sometimes easy to forget how powerful you are when you live in paradise. And for many people in the world, even though we're living in the middle of chaos, it's far more like paradise than where they live because we have food, we have water, we have protection. We have, most of us, a place to sleep. And I know many people who feel that they are not capable of loving the people who are doing hateful deeds. But as a creator, as a daughter or son of God, it is harder not to, because it is our nature to love. And it is our nature of loving that actually changes the atmosphere and the vibration in this world, in this country, in ourselves, that makes these things that are hateful unable to sustain themselves. If we are to experience a new world, it's not because we have fixed this corrupt one. It's because we're bringing it. We have an emotional realm. A lot of people wish it wasn't so. If I could just get this out of the way, I might have a civilized life. We have a, a mind that chews on a bone of a thought, something that's bothering us forever and ever, like a dog. And we wish, I'd be a much happier person if I could turn that off. Can we see that these are the capacities of a creator? When in the hands of the creator, they are magical. Taken out of the hands of the creator, they are a burden. We have a physical body that lets us bless and be in this world. Are we waiting to be our radiant holy selves when we lose 10 more pounds? When we finally get a good tan? When someone serves us the right kind of food? Is your body capable of radiance as it is? You damn well better know it is. Because otherwise you're waiting and death will come sooner than you might imagine. If I was surrounded by the right people, then I could be the true wondrous one I am. Now, can you imagine how the people in your world feel when you're waiting for the right people to come along? No, not you, you, no, no. I have the perfect people in my world. They've been given to me, and I give thanks. For the opportunity to be a creator with the, the colors in the Crayola box I've got. We have the opportunity to know that there is a vibrational place that is higher than the mass confusion that's in our world. And we have the ability in our radiance to be above the confusion so that the confusion might actually pass away and find resolution in the holy wholesome creator beings that are on this planet now. We are here now. This is our job now. We can do this together now. This is not something, I'm not waiting for a new president. I'm not waiting for someone to tell people to stop talking that way. This is the reality of the power of a collective people who are interested in being coordinated by that which is already in coordination. My body's very coordinated. I didn't even, I'm not thinking right now of my digestive system, my heart, my lungs, my circulatory system, my muscular system, my lymph system. There's a lot of them. They're in great coordination because I'm standing here full of the creative radiance that is naturally mine. And even if you're not paying attention to your creative radiance, it's still doing its job. Paying attention to the coordination of life because we are made in the image and likeness of. And not only is our mind and our heart and our body, but our spirit is. And that's where the power is, to bring your radiant spirit that is in communion with that which is already coordinated and powerful. <laughs>